everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Cardstock Warehouse. I'm going to apologize in advance um, for any coughing or sneezing I might do, or if my voice goes in and out. I had the flu last week and I'm still recovering and I keep kind of randomly losing my voice. So, to the layout. What I did is I used a cut file and it is Paige Evans cut file. It's um, called Fall, no, Leaf Wreath, I believe. <clears throat> And I used four different kinds of cardstock here to cut the, the wreath out multiple times. So this red color is like a gorgeous deep like wine color and I believe it's called Claret. And it is a hundred pound cardstock and it was perfect like color that I was going for. I didn't want to go for like the oranges and the yellows of autumn like this is more of my autumn color palette. The green I use here is called olive and then I use the paper bag craft cardstock and this um these really light um leaves that I have, they are cut out of the white parchment paper, or the Bianco parchment paper, and I have been obsessed with this parchment paper. I'm using it on a lot of layouts in the place of vellum or acetate sheets. Um, it adds a nice layer, <clears throat> excuse me, behind photos in, you know, in in layers on mats and things without adding too much bulk and it also is slightly see-through it's not as see-through as vellum but it's still um, you know just a little bit and it's just I, I think it's a perfect um, alternative for vellum or tissue paper and it holds up much better it's more of like a copy paper type weight and yeah it holds up much better than tissue paper and it makes me way less frustrated. So what I did is I cut out one wreath with every color of um, the cardstock I was using and then I did two out of the parchment paper. In the parchment paper I also did the, so the um, wreath is actually like the defined leaves like you can see the veins running through the leaves and everything and I cut those out of the parchment paper and then on the other papers I did um, kind of an outline of the reef because I thought I was going to layer them on top of each other. So after I played around with the, my um, layout a little bit. I was finally happy with how I had my leaves placed so I used um, my Zig glue pen um, that I got also from the Cardstock Warehouse website and I glued them each down lightly and then on all of the craft colored leaves I did some gold stitching to kind of look like the veins of the leaf um, and I really love how that turned out. It gave it some more definition because you know it's it's craft color cardstock so it's not like super exciting but then you add on um, that stitching and it really makes it pop. Now the background cardstock that I'm using is called True White and it's a speckle tone collection and it is, um, it kind of reminds me of like recycled or homemade paper. Like it has the little flecks of what you would imagine is recycled material in it um, and it's just slightly off white. It's not like a pure bright white um, but it was perfect for this background because I didn't want to go with like my usual um, sweet tooth pop tone white that was just too bright and it just kind of took away from the layout a little bit. Um, so I chose to go with this and it was as soon as I saw it I knew it was going to be perfect. Now you can see the photos of my two puppies and they're running around in the leaves um, at the ballpark and I backed that with some of the parchment paper. Like I said, I really love the kind of soft layer that it adds behind photos and in photo mats. And then um, to add just a little bit more sparkle, I put some sequins around and these sequins are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. 
and they're a, kind of an older mix but they are definitely a fall mix and so they worked out perfectly with these colors and then I just added the title which is the dog days of autumn um, and I just used those uh, gold letter stickers or thickers to go on there um, for the title and yeah this really came together pretty quickly I'm really loving how it looks and I'm super excited about this layout so um, if you haven't already you should head on over to the cardstock warehouse they have their own YouTube channel so you definitely want to check that out um, but also follow them on Instagram and Facebook so that you can see when um, the um, design team posts their new projects so thanks so much for watching I'll see you again next time bye